So as I explained in the last deck, uh, that uh, you can install the Argo CD components or CRDs in the Argo CD namespace only. So installation is pretty simple. You will be creating the namespace and then uh, on the official documentation side, you will find this install.yml file. Go and deploy the Argo CD. Once you deploy the Argo CD, all the components of which Argo CD set it up will be visible under the namespace, which is Argo CD. Okay, all the components will be running there. Main thing, which couple of things you should know before you start using it. Since I am using Ubuntu 22.04 server edition, and that is not having any UI interface. So I'm using the port forwarding on node ports. Basically, I'm using node port to uh, get my Argo CD services. Uh, basically, API servers must be exposed to the. So this is node port and it is listing on port 30024. Okay, so this is uh, the way I will be accessing the Argo CD from the browser, not in the putty or in the non UI interface non UI interface you need to use Argo CD CLI other thing which I did it initial secret how will you get it you will run the command qctl get secret okay hand Argo CD this will provide you a uh, Argo CD initial admin secret you just need to go and uh, get the secret in yaml file yaml format this is the password this is base 64 encoded so you just need to decode it. And this is your initial password. Okay. This is my initial password. How I can go and exp uh, access the my Argo CD environment. So if I go here and show you, this is my Argo CD environment. Once I log in, I'll be able to see the UI interface. Here you will see application settings, user info document. You can go and create the applications and all these things. Now let's go and discuss about what is application in Argo CD. So as I told, Argo CD will be monitoring your Git repository, correct? Git repo, Argo CD will be monitoring the Git repo for the changes because this Git repo becomes the source of single source of truth, correct? So they will be monitoring this repo as well as the destination where the Kubernetes cluster is running. So how we can tell the Argo CD that which source has to be monitored and where it should be implementing this thing. So there is a CRD uh, custom resource API is available that is called application. Okay. As you write the Kubernetes CML file, I think most of you must be familiar. We follow the four segments, API version, kind, metadata and spec. So API version will be in your case will be Argo proj dot IO V1 alpha one kind become the application metadata name of the application and by default generally if you are not uh, doing a, a modifying anything namespace for this application type resources will be Argo CD only. Okay, in this namespace try to create it under the spec section. First thing will come project, project name. We will discuss what is project name and why it is required. Then source will come. Source will contain the Git, Git URL. Okay, which from which Git URL it should pick the Kubernetes resource definition. And destination will come contain where it should implement it. Correct, Kubernetes cluster where it should implement it. So basically this YAML file will contain the complete definition. Now question comes, do I need to write uh, in do, like other get URL is there, do I need to go and write the separate ML file? If you are creating the resource type application, answer is yes. There is another example is there, which is called application site. We will discuss in later on, okay? So I'll just show you how it looks like in my Git repository. I will provide the access as well, okay? So this is my Git repository. I'll just go here, repository. Under the repository, nginx argo proj is the repository name. Here. First of all, I'll just show you the YAML file. So this is the Helm chart. I have downloaded it. It has four uh, components are there. Deployment.yml, namespace.yml, nginx service.yml, and service account.yml. I have modified as per my requirement, I have provided the namespace and service account and same namespace I have provided under the deployment.yml and service.yml as well. Okay, this modification, you need to do it manually. 
we will not run the kubectl command and do the things then i'll just show you the uh, the implementation side of it how i my application crd is there so this is my application crd as i mentioned api version is there kind is application metadata name of the application this you can give anything name space i will recommend initially you should argo cd as the name space and that is what exactly destination this is my eks cluster where i am deploying it name space name all the components like which I have shown you deployment name is uh, like uh, service account everything must be created. So whatever namespace.ml is containing same namespace you can give it here. It will take it. Okay. Project. So each application CRD project name is mandatory. Okay. Next video I will be discussing in detail what project contains is why it is required and all these things. Okay. Now comes to the source section. Source section from where you should pick the where you should pick the definition of my desired state, correct? The YAML dev deployment service, all these things. So this is my Git URL. The branch is main, okay? By default, I'm using the main branch and the path. Path why? Because if you come here, click on this Nginx Argo proj. My YAML file, the template thing is residing under the Nginx thing, okay? So this become my path, okay? If I'm using um, same URL only, git URL, and if I want to use uh, uh, another set of uh, YAML file, Kubernetes a native YAML file like deployment or service, I will be changing the path. Okay, so that comes under the path. Last section, uh, once you've done this thing, uh, once you've done this thing, then you will go here and uh, put the things in your API definition, okay? So I'll click on new app, okay? And there is a right, right hand side, you will get the option edit as YAML. I control it, delete, and I put my thing, okay? So we'll discuss this thing, what is sync policy? Currently it is automated. It means if any kind of changes happen, whether into the desired state or in the current state, it will automatically go and sync it, okay? They will, they don't, uh, wait for our inter uh, interruptions that, okay, I should go and sync it manually. That will not be there. Sync policy is automated means it will go and automatically apply the things. I just save it and create it. Now you can go and see the, the how the Argo CD is going to deploy the components here. Once I create it, you can see the components will be started deploying it. Just wait for a second. 